hey tribe welcome back to the channel so today we're looking at who's coming your way and why so my intention is to look at what is the next influential connection this could be someone that you know of this could be someone that you will be meeting and let's get to it either choose by numbers number one two or three or choose from a thumbnail i'll put it up now for you stop the video if you need some more time i'll see you in timestamps Hey, group number one, let's see, what is up with you? Who's the next influential person? We have longing, it feels personal straight away. We have poor. Some of you may be laughing at this combo, but <clears throat> let's get to it. Who's the next influential person? Let's clarify longing. Why is it here? Oh, this is sweet. I like that. This is one of those sweet readings. Let's look at poor and what aspect is this coming up? How do we need to read this? How do we need to read this? Okay, we see. And uh, a little bit about this individual. We have the lovers. We have the emperor. And what is your advice? You have the fool. Okay, listen. This is someone who misses you so freaking much. This person is most likely to be um, either your family member or this is someone who feels like a family to you. This person can't wait to see you. You probably have heard from them recently. And they probably have told you, hey, I missed you very much. If you haven't, this will be happening within the next two to three weeks. This is someone who keeps thinking about you. This is someone who keeps thinking when you're going to come and visit them, when they're going to see you again. They are basically living a little bit in the future, not in the present moment, because that's how much they miss you. Now, I've asked the cards, why poor? Poor because you are not with me. You have the Eight of Cups here. I am poor. I'm lacking connection here. I'm lacking your... Either for some of you, it could be support or just companionship. Maybe for some of you, there were walls up that were built um, if something happened between you two. But for most of you, this is a very peaceful, very nice relationship. This person has very strong leadership qualities about them. So they could be a boss or higher up in their careers. Or they, in general, the way they lead their life is very, they very well disciplined. This is someone who has a very strong character when it comes to their goals. This is someone who is very serious um, when it comes to responsibilities. This is a responsible uh, boss type of individual. Now, they don't have to be bossy. They could be some for some of you, but this is someone who definitely had experience in the shoes of the boss or higher up in their career your advice card says go <laughs> or invite them over if you're not the one who's able to go and visit them because i do see distance between you two uh, maybe even ocean in between you two if you're not able to be the one who visits them uh, then organize that they come to you they're waiting for the green light they're waiting for a message from you a phone call from you this is a very sweet energy um, your cards are saying be spontaneous maybe you want to surprise them this would be the best gift they have received they don't even care about christmas okay they care about seeing you <laughs> that's what kind of energy i have here this is sweet okay anything that this person would like to tell you is there anything that they would like to tell you? There was a bridge between you two. Uh, they hope that you are dealing with the stresses of life in the most, in the calmest way. They're wishing you well. They're wishing you not having any difficulties on your path. This is a very sweet energy. 
<laughs> they keep looking forward to that event that's gonna happen maybe some of you have planned an event already you know that both of you will be there someone's anniversary birthday um, celebration of some sort they can't wait this is exciting for them mm -hmm. Okay, when it comes to the family here, your own family, this person wishes you the best relationship and they wish, it feels to me like a parental figure, maybe an older friend or mature friend, someone who's very responsible, this person feels responsible for you. And um, they wish, they hope that your personal relationship, if you have one, is going well and that you are not tempted to lower your standards and that you are not tempted to come back to any kind of um, bad situationships in the past anything else let's clarify this they hope that life is treating you well and you have enough bread on your table you have enough this is someone who seems like they pray for you even if they're not religious they think of you in the best light and they wish they kind of set intentions you know oh send i'm sending peace to this person or sending abundance to this person i'm sending love to them i hope this made sense if you need more content find me on patreon and i'll catch you in the next one try bye for now Hello, pile number two. Let's see what we got here. We have not interested. We have issues. Oh, this is gonna be spicy, won't it? Let's get the Game of Thrones tarot. Let's clarify the not interested part of this reading. We have the two of cups we have the eight of cups you probably already can tell what the story is about we have issues yeah of course nine of swords here we have the knight of coins okay what's gonna happen we have ace of swords we have six of spears which is six of wands we have death and your advice card is nine of coins okay i want to see why is this person coming towards you what do they want from you ten of coins mm. it's gonna be one of those where you go oh i don't really want to hear about this but hey it's coming up okay it's coming through it's completely up to you how you're gonna deal with the situation if you're gonna deal with the situation at all some of you may have blocked this person. Uh, some of you may want to block this individual. This is someone with whom you had beef, okay? This is someone with whom you had drama, beef, issues in the past. Uh, this person or you, I don't know, there was lack of compatibility. Would it be a romantic or platonic relationship? It could be even business dealings, right? We didn't get along. We didn't see eye to eye. There were issues. Now, funny thing here is that this individual will want to clean the slate, clear it. They do want to bury the swords, <laughs> bury the hatchets. Uh, this is someone who wants to overcome what you have dealt with. They want to overcome the issues and the problems. It's funny because your advice is saying be independent of this relationship of this connection keep your independence mm, whatever you do make sure that you are in no way dependent emotionally financially on this individual or dependent when it comes to affection or um, what's the word i'm looking for even attention this person wants you two to be closer because right now there is distance and there is some sort of kaka energy between you two because of what has happened they want to change this relationship with a death card and six of spears for the better even if 
some of you may be uh, for some of you this person may not be wishing you to be super close but they just want to clear the air now it's going to be completely up to you how you're going to deal with this situation some of you may want may not even want to hear from them may not want to talk and you're just going to do scene on your phone that you have free will you do whatever you feel like is right in this situation and you know what's funny here i really feel like this person was the one at some point who was like i'm not really interested in uh, strengthening this partnership but now they're coming back around and they go but you know what um i was wrong or you know what i actually want it now so there was something that has happened between you two that has put a wall between you two or maybe bitter taste uh, and now this person wants to clear it mm -hmm. let's look bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups yeah the, someone is thinking about this over and over again what should i do what should i do what should i do mm, it seems like this has messed up emotionally both of you um there were good times that you had but somehow those good times were overshadowed by really difficult times. And this person wants to change that with the Wheel of Fortune. They're most likely going to take action and reach out to you. And uh, they may appear uh, as if nothing happened in the first, first interaction. They're going to be just checking in to see what you are like and how you're going to react to them. And if you will give even the slightest green light, um, they will want to make it right. But again, it's completely up to you. We have a justice card. This was a karmic situation. It seems like that's something that could have been really difficult. And uh, yeah, basically the ball is in your court, my people. The ball is in your court. <laughs> I hope this made sense. This was a quickie and you have a great week. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. Until the next time. Hello, pal three. Let's see what we got for you. We have holiday. We have beach. Oh, okie dokie. The deck that I will be using for you is the golden or gold leaf tarot. I think it's named both ways. Uh, let's get it. It's a very slippery deck, but a very pretty one. Let's get more info. A little bit about the holiday. What's there? You have Judgment, you have Six of Wands, you have the Hermit. Okay, what about the beach? We have, oof, Wheel of Fortune. We have Page of Wands and we have the Magician. Okay, let me fix this a little bit. So you can see most of the cards. Now let's get advice. Where is your advice in this situation? What is your advice in this situation? The Ace of Swords. The Hangman. Justice. Oof. Okay. What does this person want? Of course, the Knight of Cups is here. This is a really nice energy. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords and you have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let's fix it again. Okay, okay. Uh, who this individual is, who's coming towards you. Next important encounter is with someone that you had great freaking holiday with. It was a banger, <laughs> I'm hearing for some of you. This was the time of your life, regardless of where you were, regardless of how much this holiday cost um, either a lot or very little it doesn't matter it was the energy around that holiday uh, you were somewhere around the body of water with this person this person can't forget how much fun you had this is someone who is in your circle right now this is not a past person this is someone who you're in contact with, gives me a feeling of a bestie, to be honest, or someone who you wear if you're not anymore 
really really good friends regardless of the relationship you can be really good friends with a family member with a lover with a business um, person maybe a colleague right you went somewhere and explored and you had a lot of spiritual encounters with this person during that time off it could be even like a weekend getaway that you had together basically when you come together the spirit is present and you can feel that um, maybe you're taking a walk with this person and you start seeing signs and everything feels so much um, Oh my god what's the word i'm looking for everything even looks much more vivid to you when you are with this individual you're much more connected to yourself as well as the source as well as the nature and environment you probably have a lot of spiritual talks with one another you have a lot of deep conversations this person misses you the same way that you may be missing this individual and they would really want to go on holiday or see you again I feel like you're supposed to plan another time off together. You're supposed to see each other again. You may notice in the near future how the cards are aligning for you in order to make it happen. For example, if you're thinking that, oh, I don't have enough money in order to do that right now, uh, you will be given that money <laughs> in some way, in some miraculous way. Um, the green light appears i'm seeing this individual is very loving this individual has gone through a lot of shit in their life and you probably witness them you know cry on your shoulder or talk about really difficult vulnerable things that has happened to them really deep and traumatic i'm getting see maybe some people have used this person's heart uh, or used them because they used to be naive. I don't feel like they are anymore because um, that that's a bit sad because that inner child may have been repressed because of the world's darkness. And uh, this person has learned how to be much more independent, uh, how to be much more self-sustainable and how to care for, your, for themselves a little bit more. Um, I feel like they needed to learn that, but it's... Oof, I want to breathe in and breathe out right now. They are such a good human. It may have been really difficult for people who love them to watch them go through this. I don't think they have told everyone about it. I feel like they have a couple of close people to them, um, next to them that they really trust with that sensitive information. Your advice is saying next time you may feel that you're overwhelmed by the world or you really need to have a chat to this person because something is bothering you. Um, it's more like a message is not an advice truly. It's saying next time you may be confused or you may feel overwhelmed by your thoughts, your mind, what's happening. Call this person, spend time together. It's gonna be healthy quality time not only for you but for them too and both of you can benefit from this okay this is sweet i love this i love this so much there are still so many things that you're going to come up with together and advise each other about and it's just like a long lasting friendship so if you need more content find me at patreon and i will catch you in the next one thanks for being here bye for now